Hello everyone, today in this video we are going to learn how to find square root of decimal numbers using long division method. I will be solving two examples in this video. Let's move on to our first example which is finding the square root of 75.69. So the first step in finding the square root by long division method is to group the digits in pairs starting with the digit in the units place. So here we have 6, 9 and 7, 5. These are our two groups of numbers. Each group is called a period. So our first period is number 75. So now our second step is to find such a number whose square is equal to 75 or just less than 75. So we know that 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16, 5 square is 25, 6 square is 36, 7 square is 49, 8 square is 64 and 9 square is 81. So our number 75 lies in between these two square numbers which is 8 and 9. 9 square is 81 which is way bigger than 75. So we are going to use 8 as our first square number. So 8 is our divisor and 8 is our quotient and 8 times 8 is 64. We are going to subtract this from 75. So 5 minus 4 is 1 and 7 minus 6 is 1. Next we have a decimal point. So we are going to put the decimal in our quotient and we will drop down the next period which is 69 together. So 1169 is our new dividend. Now after subtracting we, what we are doing is putting the decimal, bringing down the next group of numbers and adding the same number as quotient in our divisor. So we got our new divisor digits as 1, 6 and now we have to annex such a number here whose product with the same number gives the result as 1169 or just less than 1169. Let's try it taking different numbers. If we will take 1 here, the number will be 161 and we will multiply it by the same number 1. So this is going to be 161 which is way less than 1169. Let's take 5 here. So 165 times 5 is 5 times 5 is 25. 2 is carried over. 5 times 6 is 30. 30 plus 2 is 32. 3 is carried over. So 5 times 1 is 5. 5 plus 3 is 8. 825 which also seems less than 1000. So let's now try 7 leaving a digit 6. So 167 times 7 is 7 times 7 is 49 so this is 4 is carried over. 7 times 6 is 42 plus 4 is 46. 4 is carried over and 7 times 1 is 7 plus 4 is 11. So we got the same number as 1169. So we will annex 7 here and 7 will be our quotient. We got 1169. Now we will subtract this number and our square root is complete. We got the square root of 75.69. As 8.7. This is our final answer. We are going to box the answer. So this is how by using long division you can find the square root of a decimal number. Let's move on to our next example which is finding the square root of 0 0.8. As our number is a single digit number we can write 0 0.80 followed by two pairs of zeros to find square root up to two decimal places. We can increase the number of zeros as many zeros as the decimal places we want to find out and this is not going to change the value of the number. Now we are going to mark the groups of numbers starting with the units digit. So this is one group, this is second group, third group. 
so our first group is 80 and we have a decimal point before the first group so we are going to put a decimal point in our quotient first and now we have to find such a square number whose square is just equal to 80 or less than 80 so we have 8 square as 64 and 9 square as 81 so 9 square is more than 80 so we are going to take 8 as our first divisor so 8 times 8 is 64 and we are going to subtract this so this is 6 this is 1 and the next step is to drop down the next pair of numbers which is 0 so this becomes 1600 and together with that we have to add 8 in our divisor to get the new divisor digits so 16 is our new divisor digit and we have to annex one more digit here and the digit we annex here is such a digit whose product with the same gives value less than 1600 or equal to 1600 so let's try different digits if we'll take 167 and multiply it by 7 we'll get the value as 1169 which we already did here which is very less than 1600 so let's try different digit 168 and multiply it by 8 8 times 8 is 64 8 times 6 is 48 48 plus 6 is 54 and 5 is carried over 8 times 1 is 8 8 plus 5 is 13 1344 let's take 169 and multiply it by 9 to get more closer to 1600 so 9 times 9 is 81 9 times 6 is 54 plus 8 is equal to 62 6 is carried over 9 times 1 is 9 9 plus 6 is 15 so we got 1521 so let's take 9 here and 9 will be our quotient 2 and the number we subtract is 1521 so 10 minus 1 is 9 and 9 minus 2 is 7 and this is 0 this is 0 the next step is to drop down the next pair of numbers let's erase this to get some space so our new number is 7900 and we'll add 9 here to get the new di digits of our new divisor so this becomes 8 7 and 1 1 7 8 and there we'll annex one more number here now let's find out what number we should annex here let's try number 2 so 1782 multiplied by 2 so 2 times 2 is 4 2 times 8 is 16 2 times 7 is 14 plus 1 15 1 is carried over 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3 so this comes out to be 3564 so double of this will give us 70 so let's try 4 1784 times 4 so 4 times 4 is 16 1 is carried over 4 times 8 is 32 plus 1 is 3 33 4 times 7 is 28 28 plus 3 is 31 3 is carried over 4 times 1 is 4 plus 3 is 7 7136 let's try 5 here 1785 times 5 5 times 5 is 25 2 is carried over times 8 is 40 40 plus 2 is 42 5 times 7 is 35 35 plus 4 is 39 3 is carried over 5 times 1 is 5 plus 3 is 8 this is more than our dividend here so we are going to use 4 as our number here and 4 in our quotient 2 number to subtract is 7136 so this comes out to be 4 6 and 7 this is 0 so now we got our quotient up to 3 decimal places so we are going to stop here 
so the square root of 0.8 is equal to 0.89 up to three decimal places we are going to box the answer so this is how by using the long division method you can find the square root of any num any decimal number easily i hope this video is helpful to you if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos thanks for watching